Malcolm Turnbull has launched his first intervention into the Morrison government, urging the Prime Minister to send Peter Dutton to the High Court. From New York, Mr Turnbull's argued that the man who challenged his leadership needs a ruling on whether he's eligible to sit in Parliament. It's earned the former Prime Minister an instant rebuke, with Barnaby Joyce accusing him of campaigning to destroy the government. Here's political editor Andrew Proben. For one night a year, enemies ditch their pitchforks. But as his former colleagues partied, a supposed friend, thousands of kilometres away, was sending tweets to ruffle taffeta. Via Twitter, Malcolm Turnbull wrote, The point I've made to Scott Morrison is that Peter Dutton should be referred to the High Court. The ex-PM ratcheting pressure on the man he blames for bringing him down. Again, asserting that Peter Dutton's interests in childcare centres left him liable for disqualification. As the Prime Minister, I'll obviously make the decisions. Not so fast. If there's a, a vote on the matter, well, I'll make my mind up at that time. From Julie Bishop, a curious, cryptic message that the Minister should refer himself to the High Court. But that's a matter for Peter Dutton. We all have personal responsibility to ensure that we are eligible to sit in the Parliament. I've taken uh, advice in relation uh, to my position, which put uh, the question beyond doubt. But others see darker motive in Malcolm Turnbull's Manhattan Project. It seems like he has an active campaign to try and remove us as the government. That is bitterly disappointing. A government still struggling to explain the events of the past few weeks. Ambition and news polls and uh, and the like, you know, opportunity. There was a spill motion. It was carried. My, my colleagues elected me to be the leader of the Liberal Party and hence the Prime Minister of the country. That answers what happened as to why Malcolm Turnbull's no longer Prime Minister. Well, that's largely unanswered. This remains a burden for the government as much as the continuing spat over the paltry number of female Liberal MPs. <laughs> as they showcase the 20% women they do have, Soon to exit Liberal MP Julia Banks gave an insight into her own experience. In my political journey, a culture of appalling behaviour has been widespread, pervasive and undermining, like white ants. Here we go. For the Liberals, any culture change would have to come from within. Andrew Probin, ABC News, Canberra.